This is a walkthrough of the Goron Temple in Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, also known as the Fire Temple. This one is down here, Fire Temple entrance. In order to get here, you'll have to do a whole quest starting at Goron City. Go to the center of town, and you'll talk to some old Goron. You'll meet Yonobo. Then you'll go up here to Yonobo H headquarters, fight him. You go up here to the top of Death Mountain, fight some boss up there. Then you fall through that hole down to here. And then you can build a makeshift vehicle to get through here. Now, in order to resist the heat, you're going to need armor like I have right now. And that armor can be found at Goron City at this shop for like 3,000 rupees for all the pieces. If you don't have the money for that, instead you're going to go hunt down a bunch of fireproof lizards from around here. There's lizards somewhere around here that give that you can find randomly critters. You make elixirs with them that give you fireproof. That'll make it so you don't take any damage from how hot it is in here and you have to just pop those over and over again. Or, I mean, I guess you could just have a full inventory of meals that fully heal you and just eat them constantly. I mean, there's a lot of different ways. So anyway, you're going to get to here and there's going to be a little bit of talking, a little bit of cutscenes and things, and you're going to use your new power with Yonobo in order to open up the fire temple. We're going to talk to him again. It'll initiate this small little half cutscene. It's not a real cutscene because it's not skippable. You'll see um, fake Zelda walking into there. And after that short little cutscene, you're going to go up here and you're going to talk to Yonobo in order to press A on him to do this. Press A again to throw him at that. Open up the fire temple. Now we can go inside the fire temple and we can do it. So we're going to go up here. There's going to be a few little cutscenes. There's going to be a little cutscene right here. We're going to look at this door. And then we're going to go up there and we're going to interact with the ring on the right. So when we first go up, he'll talk to us. And we'll have to wait for that. And then we're going to interact with that ring that you'll see over here on the right. So we're going to come up here. He's going to say some stuff. It's going to be like cutscene stuff. We can skip the cutscene. So I'm going to skip the cutscene. And then after that, a little bit of dialogue. And then you got to interact with this thing. I'm going to skip everything after this because there's unskippable stuff. But there's a bunch of stuff that happens after this. But the door tries to open and it can't open. And then it shows you all the lock locations. After all of that, ready to go. Then you can head back towards the entrance, but instead of leaving, you're going to turn here to your right. And then we're going to start the process of the fire or the Goron Temple. So for this guy, I'm just going to ignore him. We're going to run to the side and beat him up. You can grab his stuff if you want. We're going to jump across here. We're going to go over here. We're going to smack this hydrant. And then we're going to use auto hand on it. Now, there's probably a bunch of different ways you could do this. Uh, you actually wouldn't have to use this fire hydrant or this hydrant at all if you don't want. You could just grab the blocks that keep appearing behind us and build a bridge out of them. There's a ton of different ways to do everything in here. And really, you could probably circumvent the whole puzzle by just placing down a flying device using fans and stuff and just fly around the temple, which is what I would do if I wasn't making a guide. Okay, so now we're going to hit here. Go in here. I'm going to go in here and hit this. We get ready to use Yonobo in order to hit this switch. When we get a little bit closer, we'll throw him at the switch and make him do that. And then we'll be able to go over to here. So then we'll get to here, and we need to kill this like like so we can do that by coming over here and he'll start a fire attack and then we're just going to walk over here so he'll shoot it at the wall then we walk back up shoot him with a bow and arrow uh, i'm gonna put a new bow on before i forget though okay and then we can come down we can just beat on him now once he's dead we're gonna head back over to here and we're going to grab a hydrant if you have a lot of battery you can just go ahead and hit the hydrant right away I don't actually... I want to pick it up with Ultra Hand. There we go. Even if you don't have a lot of battery, you can probably just pick it up right away, actually. The hiders don't use very much battery. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to make a bunch of platforms. They just move around. Sometimes... I don't know why, but sometimes it gives rectangle pieces, which are really nice if it does. But they're not necessary. You can just do it with um, normal square pieces instead. So this is more pieces than I need, but I'm just going to make extras. We're going to drop that over there. It's going to keep using my battery, but I really don't care. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these. It doesn't have to be a, a rectangle, though. We can just connect a bunch of squares if we need to. Or if we want to, I mean. We're going to connect them end to end. We can connect another one like this. And then we can take this and make a bridge that connects these two things. And then we can find Yonobo and talk to him. And then... Oh, okay. I guess we can't walk across with him, but he should be able to just go. So we'll just uh, do it like that. Okay, well, that was weird. Depending on how your bridge is, it can mess them up. But you get the idea. Something along those lines. I'm going to go up here. There's a short little dialogue, like two-step dialogue. And he's going to show you the gong. He's going to point it out, I mean. And then you're going to interact with him. And you're going to look up at this thing. And you're going to throw him at it. And that'll ring a gong. And that will unlock the first of the five locks in the Goron Temple. 
must be the first. All right, after that, we're going to backtrack now. And head up here. I didn't loot any of the stuff from the like like, but you can if you want. Go up here. If your cart is gone, there's a new cart right here you can take. I don't know why one of the times I did my cart was just gone. Okay, so we're gonna hit that and then get back in the cart and get ready to use Yonobo. He'll pop up and we'll be able to throw him in just a sec. Like this. And then get ready to throw him at this thing. And then also look behind you because there's gonna be this guy. And once he gets lined up with you like this, you can hit him and knock him off. Which will give you items. If you never had these items before, then you gotta be careful to hit. Don't double tap your buttons. You'll jump out of the cart, which I did one time. Anyway, we're gonna keep going here. We'll hit a dead end right here, which which we don't even need to get out. We can just shoot Yonobo at that thing, and we'll turn him around, turn us around, make us go. And then we need to shoot Yonobo at this switch once we get closer. And then we get over here. I don't think you need to hit this guy, but I usually just hit him. Now we're going to go... I'm going to go ahead and hit this to keep my battery up. Like, turned off, basically. And then we're going to go over to here. We're going to hit this. That will make this thing come down so we can get over to the next lock. Now we're going to use Ultra Hand. Place this thing on this and then hit it. Here I go. And that will take us across the lava over to the next area. Then we're going to hit it again, turn it off, and head over to here. And then we need to grab Yonobo and try to get him to hit that. Now, things can go weird. It may take a few throws to try different angles and things because Yonobo can be very inconsistent. We'll try it from here. There we go. I think that's better. This broken metal here just works better. Now, what you can do is you can wait here for one of these platforms and then jump on it. After you jump on it, you're going to want to use recall immediately so it doesn't push you off. And this will effectively form a bridge for you that you can run across and get up to here. Then you can cancel that recall and then you can fight this guy who these guys are actually extremely tanky. You can shoot him in the eyeball to stun him and then after that you can get more free hits on him. But yeah, that guy's extremely strong by the way. But they can drop large Zonite charges, which is honestly amazing. Then we're going to grab Yonobo. And we're going to charge him into the gong. So that'll be the second of the five locks. Alright, so after that one, now we got to backtrack. So what we'll do is we'll go over here. Jump over onto one of these platforms. And then we're just going to wait patiently. You can try to go faster, but it can often lead to you just falling in the lava, and then you'll have to do that again. So now what we're going to do, there's another extra cart there if you need it for some reason, but we're going to take this. We're going to turn it around. And now we're going to go over to here, and we're going to pull out our bow, and we're going to try to aim up a little here and hit this thing. And if we hit that bell, it'll make this go up. Now we can get in here and hit this. And that'll take us to the next area. This next area also has a construct that we have to fight. I mean, you don't have to have to fight him, but you should fight him. So he's going to be over here. And he's actually kind of dangerous. So we're going to want to hit him in the weak spot. Which is his eyes, which are really hard to hit, though. There we go. That'll knock him over. And then we can get close enough to start hitting, but he's about to hit me. Oh my goodness, that was a close one. We can grab these rockets and these hydrants. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pieces he dropped. So now what we need is we need one rocket specifically. And we can take it to this thing, and you want to be make sure you make this symmetrical. Put it exactly on the end like that. If you put it on the side of this thing or something, it can send you flying off the tracks. And even then, you may just fly off the tracks anyway. It doesn't feel very consistent and safe. But either way, you're going to do this and hit this on this second track. Which will make you launch over this gap and hope that you don't just fly off for some reason. We're going to go over there and I'm going to shoot him at this guy. I don't know that we need to deal with this guy. But we're going to deal with this guy. Drops a mighty construct bow, which is actually really nice. 
Anyway, back to over here. So we just got off right here. We're going to head over to this bridge thing. You're going to get over here. You're going to use Ultra Hand on the bottom one. And you're going to bring it over and attach it like that. Then you're going to take Yonobo and try to get about maybe this close. And that'll make him go up and blow up the rock up there. Which will make this thing fall. If he doesn't, just keep trying from different angles and eventually you'll, you'll get it. Get up to here and then use Recall on this. Now, if you mess up the recall, I don't know how to get up there after this, if this thing gets messed up, so I don't know. But either way, go up here and then cancel that. Now, wait for Yonobo to just spawn in. There he is. All right, and then we're going to hit the gong, and that is the third lock. That leaves us with two more locks. Just two. All right, so now we're going to turn around over to here. You'll see this broken track. You're going to jump down by the broken track. Don't die to fall damage. Head over to here. Hit this gong. That'll make that track go down and it'll open up the track. Then we're going to use Ultra Hand and grab the cart we just used. Or a brand new one. Either one's fine. We're going to set it on the track. Make sure it latches on. And then get up here and hit it. And it'll take us over to where we just were. So this will take us back to where we fought that one enemy. And now we're going to run over to these two bell-like things. We're going to hit the one on the right. There we go. Just hit it one time. I hit it twice, but it didn't matter because I hit it in quick succession. So only once on the right one. And hit this one two times, which will bring this track around. And then you're going to get over into this cart, and you're going to hit it. And I'll take you across this track to another new area. So here we're going to turn around and get ready to hit this guy. There we go. Knock him off. And then after that, we're going to get ready to jump out of the cart. There's a part up here where you actually have to jump out of the cart. Or you can attempt to stop it by hitting the fan ahead of time. But either way, we're going to stop, jump out right here, and then wait for Yonobo to um, reappear next to us. There he is. Okay, so we're going to grab Yonobo. We're going to launch him across this to hit that rock. Which will then make things start forming right there. Then we're going to grab one of those. Tilt it up like this. Bring it over and attach it to the end of this. Then take this thing, flip it around like this. And then set it up right here. Make it like this and then let it drop. There we go. And then take Yonobo. And you're going to launch the process and hope he hits the gong. If he doesn't, just keep trying. And that'll be the fourth gong. So now we have the fifth gong to hit, the fifth lock. And it's going to be the most confusing one to try to get to out of all of them. Only one left. So what we're going to do is we're going to interact with this, turn around, and we're going to set it over here. Now we're going to grab Yonobo, and we're going to try to launch him across here and hit that rock, which we were able to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump down over here and glide over to here. Then we're going to head over to here. You'll see the two bells that we hit before. We're going to try to hit that first one. We hit it once and then wait and then hit it again and then wait and then hit it again three times and that'll bring this track around like this. Then we're going to use Ultra Hand on this cart. We're going to set it on the tracks, make sure it latches on and then get inside fully and then hit the fan. Okay, so now we've got just one or two more steps, and then we're ready to fight the boss. So we're going to head up to here. It'll wrap us around. Do the old wrap around. And up here, we're going to launch him at this guy. You can fight this guy and kill this guy. But I'm just going to ignore this guy. Um, you don't have to fight him, but you can. I'm going to go over here and hit this instead and just ignore him. But again, you could have fought him if you wanted to. Now you're going to head up here. I'm going to launch him at this guy just to distract him and then jump off. Immediately, we're going to go over here to our right. We're going to jump and glide and then be quick to turn around and head back into this area. There's a hole in the ground. Now, this is the area we just unlocked by blowing up that boulder. We're going to fall all the way down and glide so we don't die to fall damage. And then we're going to wait for Yonobo to appear in here with us. There he is. Grab him. And then launch him into the gong. That is the fifth gong. 
But we're not quite done yet because we got to fight the boss now. And also, we got to get back to the entrance. So, there's a chest in here you can grab. I'm not going to grab it. There's a chest right there if you want to grab it. What you'll have to do is you'll head over here, hit this yellow thing. That'll open up this door. And then from here, we've got to wrap around. Unless you want to just suddenly spawn in the device and fly or glide over and climb there, which you know, really could. It might have been faster, actually. Okay, so now we're going to head up here. And now we're going to attempt to ring the gong or whatever. Open the door again. The so last time it actually was trying to open the door, but the locks were holding it in place. Now there's no locks. This thing will do the exact same thing it did before, but now it can actually open when we interact with that. So that will open up this gate and lead us into the boss room for the fire temple. All right, so now we're going to head over here. There'll be a cutscene that I'm going to skip. So we'll go into here. And what we're going to do in order to activate the cutscene, there's a big boulder up there. This whole room is uh, circular. So you can just launch Yonobo at one of the walls, and he'll go all the way up and around. Just like a Majora's Mask when we turn into a Goron. And then hit, go up there and hit that. That'll activate a cutscene that I'm going to skip. Okay, we're skipping the cutscene. And now we get to fight the boss, the Marbled Goma. We're going to grab Yonobo and launch him at a leg. This boss will also throw rocks on the ground that'll try to stop us, and they'll also explode. But all we gotta do is hit two different legs, and then the boss will fall to the ground. We can climb up here and start beating on the boss. Stage one is rinse and repeat of that same concept. But if you have a strong enough weapon, you can just get him in one go. But I doubt you'll have a weapon as strong as I have right here. But if you do, you can get it in one go for stage one. But again, stage one's the same thing. You just dodge the rocks, they explode after a period of time you hit the legs. All right, so now you want to... Uh, what the smart thing to do here is to grab him and wait. And just stand still. Break yourself free of this and then go. If you don't do it in that order, you can get yourself trapped while you wait for Yonobo. And then things can get real bad. So now you're going to line up with him and stare at him. And then launch Yonobo up at him. Which will knock him down. The easiest way to do that was just to stare at him when you launch Yonobo. And that's how you'll make sure you're lined up. Now, I'll be able to get him in one go, probably. But it's going to be the same thing every time. So if you were doing that with a weaker weapon, it's just going to be rinse and repeat of the exact same thing. Then after that, you can grab your heart container and speak to Yonobo. And it'll interact with the tier. There'll be a ton of cutscenes and stuff. And next thing you know, you'll be back in Goron City. And that's the end of it, guys. Hopefully that video helped you out. If you had any issues with the Goron Temple, now you know how to solve all the puzzles and open all the locks in this temple in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.